Megan. Yes, indeed. Uh, by the way, you two both are my heroes. I, I, you know, everybody <laughs> dreams of this. I know I do. I was like, oh, if I had a vineyard and I was a winemaker, how happy would I be? Yeah, yeah. But you guys broke down the process for people. You actually wrote yes. a book about it because there's a lot to this. There's a yeah. lot to yeah. this. A lot more than you think. <laughs> now, you were in corporate America and then retired? I was, yeah, I was in corporate America, retired, and we thought, well, we couldn't just sit down and watch TV. So mm -hmm. we decided we would get in the grape growing business and the winemaking business. The winemaking business. Of course, business. with a lot of help. The truth is, you had to keep I, them busy. Yeah, I had to keep them okay. busy. Yeah, yeah. So that's you all we really tired. <laughs> now, where is, where is your winery at? Where, where, where are you at? So living? we're between Auburn and Grass Valley mm -hmm. on, on Highway 49, uh, about an hour from here. Yeah. Uh, now this was how long ago? 20? We started the business in '98. '98. Yeah. Yeah. 18 years ago. So you were scratch. the leading edge on 49, right there. Up there. there. Wasn't that there were a winery. couple of wineries, but we uh, we started from scratch. We put the vineyard in, and then put the winery in, and hired a winemaker, and yeah, so it was from scratch. From yeah. Scratch, and is that what you guys detail in the book? Well, the reason for the book is a lot of people come out and they ask questions about how did you get started, what does it take to do it, and so on. So my wife and I decided, geez, why don't we put it on paper, and we. Um, we authored this book, which is Vines to Wines and Life in the Vineyards. So this includes living in the vineyards and also putting in a vineyard and making wine. The photographs story. are gorgeous. Yeah, it's yeah. Beautiful. absolutely gorgeous. We were flipping through it, going, yeah. "Oh, I want, to, I want to live there. I want to be there. I want to be." Yeah. Uh, is it all cracked up? Is it everything you thought it would be and more? It is. But the only thing that we didn't bargain for is the amount of work that went into it. Mm. It has to go into yeah. it. Yeah, but it is. It's just yeah. a beautiful. We're out in the country. Uh, the birds sing in the morning, and the, you know the sunshine comes out, and it, it is. Yeah. I feel like I feel like uh, seriously. You should I, come yeah. visit. I will yeah. come visit, yeah. and then you're going to have to get like the authorities to make me leave because <laughs> your property is so gorgeous. So you get a big festival coming up? Is that yeah, is it right here? Yeah, we have a big, uh, it's like we start a season. We start in May and we release our new wines mm -hmm. at the same time. So we have like five, six wines we release. This time we just brought three of them over here. We have the saint Jovet, Viognier and the Rosé. And uh, what we do, we have uh, live music and we have food and and we have a, a barrel tasting, mm. and it's on May 6th, and it's from uh, 1, 1 to 4. To four. Yeah. And uh, you can, we have a chef on the premises, and you can order some food ahead of time, so it makes it easier. Or you can buy some of the food there, small plates and other things. Okay. But we'll have a menu for that. But it's a place where we start the party, and the people know, here we go. <laughs> they open, and we're having a good time. <laughs> That sounds great. And that's one of those things where you really have to call the authorities to get me out. Because once yeah. I'm up there with a chef, yeah. too, are you yeah. kidding me? That's fantastic. Yeah. Okay, so teach us how to say the name of the winery and your last name properly. Because I, I didn't do it. I didn't do it off the top. It's uh, Najiar. Najiar. Uh, think, okay. think of caviar. Oh, okay. okay. Najiar, and it's Mike and Dion. Uh, and we're the founders. It's a family thing now. Yeah. Uh, so their whole family's involved. Yeah. But we have the Mary's in uh, charge of our yeah. tasting and home and everything. Uh, That's going to be fun, having yeah. their own family involved. And we live right there on the property, too, so that makes it easy because we didn't want to open in town because we wanted mm. to have people to sit there. How many places can you sit and be outdoor, mm. enjoy the scenery? It's it's a piece of heaven. Turn off your phone. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Exactly. piece of heaven. Yeah. In fact, the phones don't work. Oh, really? So, yeah. <laughs> Where can people get the book? Does it have to, it's a, Actually, yeah, they have to call us today. Hopefully, it'll go online. It's uh, $49 for the book. And uh, we also do tours, so you can come out and do a tour yeah. of the vineyard and a tour of the winery. It's actually the big kickoff of the season, May is. Mm. We're also starting our tribute series. Uh, our wine Fest is basically the name we've given to our wine, food, and, and live music. And Wine Fest starts with... Let me see. Uh, the Beach Boys. The Beach Boys. On the on May the 14th, and then we have a tribute uh, to I think the it's Eagles. May 26th. Oh, nice. Uh, followed to, by a tribute uh, to Earth, Wind, and Fire, and then the last tribute is uh, tribute to Chicago. That's awesome. Thank you both for coming in today. Thank Seriously, you. it was our pleasure. And thanks we for writing this it. book because Thank you, I know I've got lots of uh, lots of questions as well. Yeah. And uh, feel free to get a room ready for me because I'm moving. <laughs> in. All right, back to you, Deuce. All right.